Hello everybody, it's John here. It is the middle of August. It's been very hot here in Southern Illinois uh, the past three or four weeks. Uh, and what I'd like to talk a little bit about today is uh, beehive ventilation. Uh, over the years, I've heard uh, many different things about you need a top vent, uh, you don't need a top vent, you need an open bottom board with screens, you don't need an open bottom board. Uh, there's so many different ways that people believe in venting their hives. And I do believe that's important uh, depending on where you're located and, and uh, how big your hives are, I'm sure. And uh, from what I've noticed, uh, it just depends on the beehives themselves, uh, what, what they want to do. So uh, I'd like to take you out into my apiary and show you around a little bit and mention some of the things I've been trying to do and maybe you can give me some advice too of what's worked for you. Again, we're in Southern Illinois, it's been hot. Uh, heat indexes have been up to 110 uh, for periods of time for maybe a week at a time. Uh, I did it this year and last year and it has caused me some problems. So I'm gonna go out and show you what, uh, what we've got going on here. The past two years, uh, because of the excessive heat, I've had uh, two times in, in a top bar hive and once in a uh, layens hive, I've had comb collapse and it was so much that the bees couldn't take care of it and hive beetles ended up taking over uh, and the bees absconded. So uh, this year, again, I uh, decided I ought to try to start figuring out a, a better way to keep the hives cooler and I ended up painting all the galvanized tops uh, kind of an off-white, and I can definitely say that uh, that's probably dropped the temperature maybe 20 degrees before you couldn't even put your hand on it. And now you can hold your hand on it and it's quite a bit cooler. So I'm hoping that the, the uh, excess heat that I had, uh, maybe that'll help a little bit. Uh, and in the past, uh, each of these uh, hives has uh, vents underneath. Uh, they're three and a half inch holes with uh, eighth inch wire screen in them. So each hive has two vents kind of under the brood areas. And uh, in the past I've left them open, but because of high beetle infestation in the last few years, they've slowly gotten worse. Uh, I started putting my little uh, caps underneath there and putting oil in them uh, trying to catch the hive beetles. And by doing that, it uh, did not allow any bottom ventilation. Uh, so this year, as the temperature started to increase, I opened the upper vents. Each hive ha also has an upper vent. Uh, so as the temperature rose, I opened the up the upper vent and still had the bottom vents closed uh, to catch the hive beetles. And uh, the last few weeks, maybe three weeks, now it's been Again, it's been getting so hot, uh, I decided maybe I ought to take off the bottom uh, little caps, I'll show them to you here, and uh, let, that, let them have a little bit more ventilation underneath. Also with the upper ventilation, as you can see the discs there, I've all turned them to where they can be opened and have a little ventilation. But here's what's interesting about it. Uh, they have not been bearding since I've opened everything up. Uh, but even though it's been warm, these hives have done some strange things. Uh, the two uh, lands hives are basically the same. They are uh, 18 bar frame hives. Uh, the front one on the left here is maybe three fourths full. The one in the back, uh, it's 100% uh, full of comb. The top bar in the front here is completely full. Uh, and the, it has probably 24 bars. And the one in the back, uh, I think it has 28 bars. And it also is completely full with a swarm that I put in this year. So let me go now and show you just exactly what they've done since I opened everything up for them. Here is an example of the open hole that I have underneath. Uh, this is a four inch uh, thin cap that I can slide in. And again, I put uh, mineral oil or sometimes dematicus earth in there. 
and close it up and it's a good way for the bees uh, to throw the trash in you can see varroa mites maybe sometimes if they're knocking any off and it also is a good place to trap uh, hive beetles so I ended up having to pull those out because of the excessive heat and by doing that on this particular hive uh, again the entrances is in the middle and so is the ventilation at the top and the bees for some reason decided they needed to propolize shut the upper vent so again this is uh, front entrance in the middle of the hive they propolize the shut the top and they I've got the bottoms to to open at the moment now here's the other top bar hive and it's an end entrance uh, again the bottom vents are open and the bees even though this is a bigger colony they've decided not to do anything with the upper vent uh, it's not propolized shut so we got two different hot top bar styles in one hive they have and one in the hive they haven't. Kind of the same way on one of the lands hive. This hive is maybe three-fourths full uh, and the other hive is completely full uh, for some strange reason. They decided after I opened the bottom vents to propolize the upper entrance shut. And then if you look in the back there, uh, the other lands hive, uh, again, it is fully open. And again, it is completely full of frames of, of honey and, and brood. So two hives are virtually close to being the same. Uh, one hive decides they don't need an upper vent and the other one decides they still do. And I decided it was probably more important to keep them cool than to uh, worry about hive beetles at the moment. Uh, when I have opened them up the last time, a couple of them did have a few high beetles crawling. Uh, so that's still a concern. Uh, but so far, three weeks since I've done this, I've had no comb collapse. It appears like uh, if we're going to continue having these hot summer days, 110 heat index, uh, I'm probably going to, from this point on, open fully uh, definitely in the month of July and August my vents underneath and then uh, I'll even open up the top vent and give them the choice of closing it or or leaving it open because again I say it seems like the bees have their own mind of what needs to be done and uh, again southern Illinois been very hot I'm sure if you're farther south it's even worse and if you're up north it's probably not as uh, critical of an issue and I don't even believe you may have high beetle trouble up there so anyway Thoughts and comments, please share uh, what works for you. Uh, like I say, I believe every hive is different and every location in diff is different. And it sometimes just takes a little while to figure out what works best for you in your bee yard. May y'all have a good day and may God bless you this hot summer we're having.